This is the Bob and Brad X6 Pro Max Massage Gun. In today's video, I'm gonna take a look at what this device comes with out of the box. I'll talk about some of the specifications and features, and at the end, I will offer my thoughts after using it, just what I liked, what I didn't like. So to start off, let's take a look at what comes with the device out of the box. So like almost every single Bob and Brad device, it does come with its own case. This one is blue. It has sort of the signature Bob and Brad little emblem on it. You've got a handle with a rubber grip. You've got two zippers. It is a, a pretty firm case, so it's gonna protect your massage gun inside. Everything that comes with the device fits inside this case. All has its own spot inside the case. So when you open it up, you do see everything right here. We'll start on the top here. You've got an instruction manual. If it's your first time using a massage gun, definitely read through this. It also has a little bit of a guide in terms of what attachments to use and what part of your body. So that's good. You've got a charging cord, so it is a battery powered device. It's a USB-A to USB-C. In order to charge it, you just plug it in the bottom of the device. It does not come with any sort of charging block whatsoever. And then the last thing you see in the top is just these two little rubber gaskets. I'll talk about those in a second. The next thing you see is the device itself, which is actually a pretty unique shape in a few different ways. So you've got this pill-shaped handle on it, which is nice and easy to grip. It's got a rubber grip on the handle. The rest of it is sort of this matte silver dark gray other than the rubberized grip. But then the top part of it here is sort of like a triangle. And then you've got a venting fan on the top. You've got Bob and Brad branding on either side of it and a power button with a speed indicator on the back. And then your attachment heads go into the device there. So really easy to grip, good handle, good form. It is a little bit heavy. You do have six different attachment heads that it comes with. So you have a firm foam ball. You have a hard plastic bullet head attachment. You have a hard plastic fork attachment. You have a softer cushion attachment that has a little bit of a give to it. Really unique one here is they have a really firm all metal attachment that actually screws in to the device. So it's threaded and it screws in like this, which is different than how the rest of the attachments go in, which is really just by pressing them in. And those ones I'll pull out really easily. And then the last attachment is a hot and cold attachment, which this is actually its own sort of device and the fact that you have to charge this as well. So this attachment can do hot and cold functionality on the end of it. You see it's sort of got like this silver. So this in itself has a two hour charge time. It has a battery life of an hour, depending on whether you're using hot or cold and how long you're using it on. The cold settings, in order to turn either of them on, you just quick press and hold that for two seconds. It comes on, so you've got a green indicator and you click it again, you have a blue indicator. So green is gonna be 59 degrees, blue is gonna be 50 degrees. In order to turn that off, you just long press that again and to turn off. The heat function, same way to turn that on, just press and hold that for about two seconds. And you've got an orange function and a red function, which are gonna be 104 and 113 degrees. Now. If I use my face to test how sensitive this heat function is, it's warm almost immediately. I'm talking like two, three seconds, you can feel the heat, but the cold is the same way. I'll talk a little bit more about this attachment once I talk, start talking about some of the specifications of it. So that's the, the last attachment that it comes with. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the hot and cold attachment into the device for the rest of the video. But to start off, let's take a look at some of the specifications and features of this device. So I always like to start by taking a look at the stroke length and the stall force. So the stroke length is gonna be the distance that this massage head is actually gonna move back and forth out of the device. It has a stroke length of 11 millimeters, which is right in the middle of the road in terms of massage guns. Some of the really high-end percussive massage guns that have really, really deep tissue percussion are 16 millimeters. And you've got some really, really vibrational devices, which are gonna be somewhere between eight to 12. So this falls right in the middle. For me personally, at 11 millimeters, it's not as vibrational as some other devices, but it does still feel pretty vibrational to me versus being percussive. I'll go ahead and turn the device on and just show. So you can see it, it does make my tissues move, but it's not as deep as like a real big punch device like something like a, a Theragun Pro would do. So it still feels good, it's still definitely noticeable, um, but just, personal preference of mine, but it is 11 millimeters. The stall force on this is 55 pounds, which is pretty high. 
I'll go ahead and turn this up to the highest speed to try to show the stall force of 55 pounds here. So you gotta press pretty hard to get it to stall. And even when it stalls, it comes back on right away. And really stall force really isn't that big of an issue unless you're using it really, really aggressively on your glutes or your quads. Otherwise, for the most part, you should just be floating over your tissues. You shouldn't be pressing really, really hard and really almost injuring yourself. So stall force is important for some of those bigger muscle groups, but for the most part, you're not gonna really have that come into play, especially with 55 pounds, it's really, really high. This is a five speed device. So in order to turn the device on, you just press and hold the power button in the back. You see it comes onto the first speed, which is 2000 percussions per minute. If you cycle through this, Every one of these is gonna be 300 percussions per minute higher, so that's 2300, 2600, 2900, and then it maxes out at 3200 percussions per minute, which is pretty fast. So it feels really good on that high speed, but speed is just a personal preference. This device does not have any sort of Bluetooth compatibility, so there's not a Bob and Brad app that you can control the device with, follow along with routines, anything like that. It is a fixed angle device, so it's not adjustable in any way. It is stuck at this 90 degree angle. The battery is built into it. It's not removable. It does have a charge time of three and a half hours. See the battery life is indicated on the bottom of the device here. You've got some buttons. So if I turn this on, the light up there on the handle, that's the battery life. It is a two and a half hour battery life. Really quiet device. It is pretty heavy. It's about four pounds and most of the weight is in this upper half. So. The one knock I have on it is that is really, really heavy. If you have small hands, if you don't have a good grip, this is probably a little bit too heavy for you. It is also pretty tall, so you get a good reach from the, the long handle on it, but it does make it a little bit harder to handle just based on how tall it is. Currently priced at $160. There is a $30 off coupon available right now on Amazon. It does come with a one-year warranty. It is FSA and HSA eligible. It does have a 10 minute auto shut off. So if you're using it for more than 10 minutes and it just shuts, shuts off automatically, that's just the auto shut off. That's normal. There's nothing wrong with your device. Just go ahead and turn it back on. It's just a safety thing to prevent it from overheating. So in terms of some general thoughts that I'd give this in terms of what I like versus what I dislike or think could be improved. So I really like the hot and cold attachment on it. I think that a lot of devices, we're going to start to see that as a standard attachment that it comes with. I do wish that it got quite a bit colder. Uh, 50 degrees really doesn't going to do much for me. I think it's really counterintuitive to use the cold attachment while it's percussing. If I was to use the cold attachment, I would either just hold it and, and massage whatever areas I want just with it not percussing, or I would actually just take this out and use it by itself. And I use it to like depuff my eyes or, or just, you know, go around a bruised area if I want to, but it's not going to replace ice. It's not that cold at 50 degrees. Uh, it is noticeably cold to touch, but I don't really see the benefit to that function. But what I do really like is the, the warm function on it, which goes up to uh, 113 degrees. But if you're really trying to warm up some areas before a workout, having that percussion with the heat will really help promote blood flow to that area. So uh, I really like that. And the fact that it stays warm while it's percussing, you're not losing that heat while it's percussing is, is really nice. I also really like the grip on this. I think the pill shape grip is better than a big round grip or any other sort of shape. Um, it makes it easy if you have small hands. However, it is a little bit tall and heavy, like I mentioned. I, four pounds is really heavy compared to a lot of massage guns, at least which it's not like as evenly distributed. The grip on it, the rubberized grip is nice. The charging cord, something little. It's a USB-C to USB-A. I wish it was USB-C to USB-C and or I wish it came with a charging block. It just comes with the cord. I like that it has the six different speeds. I think the stroke length could be a little bit longer. So that's just some generalized thoughts uh, and, and quick feedback on it. If you have questions on this device, go ahead, drop it in the comments. Uh, it is certainly a good device. It's, it's very user-friendly. It works really well, no complaints there. I mean, the Bob and Brad devices are all really good. You get a good reach with it. I think it's a solid device for the stroke length and for the stall force that it is. So if you have those questions, drop in the comments down below, I'll do my best. If you guys like videos like this, if there's anything specific that you want me to review, let me know, hit the thumbs up, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will be checking out any Bob and Brad device that keeps coming out because they continue to have good devices. They've got a lot of different variety of their devices, but that is the Bob and Brad X6 Pro Max. That's a review. Enjoy your recovery.